few years ago, I uh, got a chance to do my first late night television appearance on Conan. And for me, oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, for me, it was a dream come true. Ever since I was a kid watching comedians on The Tonight Show, all I wanted to do in life was be a stand-up comic and tell jokes on late night TV. Conan gave me my chance, the show went great, they took my segment, they put it on YouTube, and I was really proud of what I'd accomplished. Until I started reading YouTube comments. <laughs> I didn't realize that there are people that write awful things about YouTube videos as a hobby. They're like, oh, I got 15 minutes to kill. Let me go pee on someone's dreams. <laughs> I didn't know that, I wasn't warned. They wrote things like, this guy is terrible. I didn't laugh once. One guy all he wrote was, boo, pansy. <laughs> He only used two words and somehow managed to insult me twice. <laughs> That's two separate insults. Masterful use of the English language. I, uh, I read all the comments though. They ruined three and a half days of my life. Yeah, I couldn't get over it. What finally sort of pulled me out of my depression is I realized some of these morons that write these awful things, their YouTube screen name is either their exact name or something very easy to figure out. Like one dummy. His YouTube screen name was J. DeBaron Violin. All right, I'm gonna take a wild guess. I bet the J is his first initial. I bet DeBaron is his last name. And I bet playing the violin is something he likes to do. <laughs> Let me just crank up the Google machine, take a look-see. <laughs> Well, what do you know? His name is Jonathan DeBaron. He is indeed a violin player, and he has posted some of his own videos on YouTube. <laughs> oh, Jonathan. Now, here's what Jonathan knows about me. I'm a comedian. Here's what he does not know. I am shallow, <laughs> petty, vindictive, and because I don't have to spend six hours a day practicing the violin, I got a lot of time on my hands. I created 34 separate YouTube accounts. Yep. Just to crush his little violin playing fantasy and man, did it feel good. In fact, it felt so good I recommend all you go home tonight, find his YouTube page, and give it a whirl. Subscribe to Drybar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.